We've stayed at Skidaway State Park a couple of times now. It's a really beautiful park. The campsites are large and they're set under these gorgeous old live oak trees covered in Spanish moss. The landscape there really is the quintessential coastal southern Georgia experience. There are about six miles of trails within the park and we stayed there in July and then later the next year in August so even though I did see all the trails I had to get an early start every day because by nine o'clock it was really too hot for me and the dogs. Most of the trails are foot trails only, but there is one trail that's about two miles long that's okay for bikes as well, and I have ridden my bike on that. It was fun. It goes past some old still, some whiskey making equipment, which was kind of interesting to see. We saw raccoons, armadillos, and deer while we were camping there. You can't launch your kayaks or canoes or boats from within the park, but there's a boat launch about a mile away. We went further afield, further out toward Tybee, where we kayaked among the dolphins. And the dolphins don't know about the Marine Mammal Protection Act. Sometimes they would come a lot closer. And while you're that close to Tybee Island, you might as well go to the beach and go swimming. It's about 45 minutes back to the park. Skidaway is only about 20 minutes from Savannah, and you could easily spend a week's vacation there. On this trip in August 2022, we just went in to walk around a little, go to our favorite bookstore. There are so many restaurants and bars we want to try eventually, including some that are just old institutions. But on every trip anywhere near that area, we end up going to the wild. The food is good and the location is just so beautiful. I love to sit out on their deck and watch the boats come and go. It's kind of a fantasy someday we'll be able to boat up to a restaurant to eat dinner. There's an interesting little marine museum, aquarium, run by UGA out on Skidaway. It's great if you have kids. But I really like the Pinpoint Heritage Museum. The museum is on the grounds of an old seafood processing factory. But it's about more than just the seafood industry in coastal Georgia. It's primarily about the Gullah Geechee culture and the people who worked in this factory, the community they built there, their language and their traditions. I had a little adventure. I was looking for a longer bike trail and based on one internet review about a five mile bike ride at the Savannah Ogeechee Canal, I tried that. There are some great foot trails apparently, but the bike trail is more aspirational than anything else at this point. I don't really know what that review was about on Google. The often Instagrammed Wormslow is right by Skidaway State Park. I had never visited, and so this time I did decide to check it out. It's interesting. It's beautiful grounds, interesting history about the family that lived there. If I sound disappointed, I think it's because when you see something you've seen pictures of over and over again, it's hard for it not to be a little bit disappointed. Honestly, my favorite part of the visit was finding out that they're planting young oak trees along that alley so that the Alley of Oaks will be there for future generations too. I could easily spend a week at Skidaway, going into Savannah, going over to Tybee, kayaking, hiking, relaxing. <laughs>